SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, in today's video, I want to discuss this article here. Uh, I, It's from Fortune. Uh, I read it, and it's really weird. I want to show you guys something. It, according to this, uh, this was written by John Stanky. I don't think the CEO of AT&T is into writing articles, but <laughs> whatever the article is from Fortune, I'll provide a link uh, You know, from Yahoo Finance or whatever. It'll be down here in the description. But the content's what's important. AT and T CEO has said continuously, consistently, without any type of pause, the industry is not in a good place when it comes to Spectrum. What are we talking about here? We're talking about the licenses that wireless network operators use to transmit and broadcast signals. Those wireless signals are how we transmit our data from our devices to wherever we're going to, right? Or receiving signal for watching videos, sending videos, uploading videos, whatever. Just some examples, right? Everybody uses their cell phone for everything. And he's right about something. And that's, they need more spectrum. The network builders, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, they have so much usage on their networks. They have, you know, people that are using connections for work, people using it for entertainment. Now you got home internet service going through their cell towers as well. And the growing demand continues. We're seeing 20, 30% data usage increases annually and those numbers probably are going to continue to increase as adoption of new technologies and ai tools and other things continues to increase and with higher resolution video you just have so much data going through all these networks they need spectrum it's the lifeblood of a wireless network you need fiber circuits to the cell sites you need equipment you need radios antennas but you need spectrum right we saw what happened to verizon with all of their customers, right? Huge market share as they became spectrum starved. AT&T wants to avoid that. T-Mobile wants to avoid that. Verizon sorely wants to avoid that from happening again. The options, if you don't address the spectrum demand, the options basically become densification where you're building tower sites like really, really close to each other. Obviously that could lead to things like interference that could lead to costs just exponentially increasing. And that's where I think this is coming from here. The AT&T CEO says customers could see higher cell phone bills if we don't get more spectrum. And even if they get more spectrum and they have to pay exorbitant amounts of money, it's probably going to raise costs on plans. So the new administration that's up and coming has an opportunity, right? A new FCC that could secure a pipeline of spectrum over the course of the next several years and then continuously updating it and addressing it on demand but future looking and forward looking to address these things and you know this has been a problem it's not it's not a problem that was unique to the previous administration it's a problem that has been ongoing it goes back years you know it's 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 not the biden administration it's not the previous trump administration it's been going on for a long time we have had spectrum issues within our country for a long time from being disorganized and having all these band issues and having a bunch of non-contiguous spectrum leading to less efficiency, you know, having issues with the FAA and C band and all these other things. This has been a problem for a long time and it needs to be addressed. If we're going to be more competitive and rely on ourselves as a country for connectivity, secured connectivity, capacity on our connectivity, right? Speed and efficiency. He's right. There are gaps within our network building plans and futures, and they need to be addressed. Now, you could argue that AT&T doesn't have a leg to stand on because they are perceived, perceived by many to kind of lollygag in their 5G network build, but they're extremely effective fiber builders, and they also build a pretty good wireless network too. And you can argue that Verizon and T-Mobile have done a nicer job, but the foundation of what he's talking about is real. And it's true. These things need to be fixed and addressed in the future or else this is probably going to be a thing. I don't think AT&T has a problem raising prices on customers if things aren't working out for them. I mean, we've seen the threats. We've seen the price increases. We've seen what they've done getting Spectrum from T-Mobile in Hawaii by complaining to the FCC, right? The squeaky wheel gets the grease. I think the new version of the FCC, whatever that looks like, is going to be addressing these issues. If you kind of look at the way that that administration has worked in the past, 
you're probably going to see some industry friendly moves. And if it's going to help the industry to create better networks, then it's going to help the general public in having access to better networks. I think sometimes you just got to get out of the way and let the builders build. And I'm not saying they shouldn't be regulated. I'm just saying if you're going to regulate, regulate in a way that allows companies to innovate and regulate in a way that still allows them to facilitate improved technologies and performances to where the American public can benefit from them. So I'm not a big fan of telco CEOs. They're obviously always going to be self-serving and company serving but I'm much more focused on the American public and us having access to the best version of these networks that they build. But let me know what you guys think. Drop me a line. What do you guys think of what the AT&T CEO is saying? What is your position? How do you think these things should be addressed in the future? Do you think there's a version of this where the network builders are forced to raise prices because they are spectrum constrained? I think it's kind of extreme, but it, it definitely is a possibility. It's not out of the realm of occurrences in the future. What's your take? Let me know. Drop me a line in the comment section. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll see you guys on the next video.